Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking our first look at the lighthouse location here for Escape from Tarkov. I'm sure there's a bunch of videos already uploaded on this, but I have not hopped on my Tarkov YouTube account yet today, so I haven't seen that recommended page. So if there is, I am sorry, but I'm going to be giving you my analysis of the map and what we see so far. Very, very cool stuff. I can't lie. I'm very excited for Lighthouse already because the map is 10 times bigger than I thought it would be. I genuinely thought it'd be another factory style map. Um, you know, maybe just a small little island with a giant lighthouse as a center point. I was completely wrong. They are going pretty hard on this map and I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we have five images we're going to be taking a look at here today. And honestly, man, I am excited. So as always, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new. This information came out about 6 a.m. today. I saw it about four or five hours ago, and I was a little bit busy at the time, and I knew I wouldn't be able to hop on and record for you guys right away. So here we are, a little late from the information. Usually I like to get you guys that info about two to three hours after it does happen, so apologies on being late, but let's just hop into it. Here is image one. We kind of have this woods shoreline mixture here, uh, and the reason I say woods is because we have these like log cabins almost. I would call them luxury log cabins but not as luxury as the cottages on shoreline if that's uh makes any sense or not but uh it kind of looks up in the mountains a little bit and uh, we have at least two log cabins here now we're gonna see some more of this what i'm calling a log cabin but i think this is just part of the main building that we're standing in and you will see that in this image over here and some of these images are insane man this map is actually a lot bigger than i thought but um, this little mini cottage is what I want to focus on. You know, what kind of loot's going to be in here? I don't really know, but probably going to be uh, attached and tied to a task somehow. And um, along with the UN truck there, we'll, we'll touch on that in a second. But um, not too much here to actually decipher in this image specifically. Obviously, you have the little tiny cabin, but you can't really see behind it. You can't really see the actual um, width of this cabin. You can't really do much with this image because we're not in-game and we don't have that perspective. But... I would go ahead and assume it's going to be just like a normal sized house you'd find in the village on shoreline kind of like that size and um you know probably just generic household items barter items going to be in there for loot wise and probably going to be tied to a task or so same thing with the un truck probably going to be task tied and um you know just part of the scenery there it looks like we're definitely up on a hill somewhere and uh we have this main cottage or main lodge here uh that i think we see another image of here coming up barbed wire here it's really the only uh in-game thing i can really point out to you that's going to do anything to you um you know jumping off one of these railings maybe is going to get you some broken legs but there's nothing else loot wise i can decipher nothing else you know new gameplay wise anything like that that i can decipher uh and when it comes to the map overall it just kind of looks like woods or shoreline in the wooded areas you know we have this mountain up here which is going to be interesting it's going to be interesting to see if this is looking out towards the water or if this is actually like at the back of the map and if you're going to be able to get up here or not. Because if you can sit up here, maybe like head glitch this ridge right here and look down onto this area, you might be able to get a couple easy picks. So it'd be interesting to see if you can get up here. But for this first image, that's pretty much all I got for you. I don't have too much else when it comes to giving you info. So here um, we have a giant tunnel and we've seen these before because we have a tunnel extract on shoreline. Now my question is, is this tunnel going to be attached to shoreline's tunnel? Um, you know, obviously we have to have all the maps to interconnect at some point with the full release of the game. And, uh, obviously you're going to be going to map to map to map for certain tasks and certain items and all this other shit. Once the game does really get truly deep into its development. And, um, it just makes me think, is this going to be 100% attached to shoreline or not? I don't know. And that leaves me to the next question. Can we actually go in the tunnel? Now, a lot of people have been kind of talking about this little dude right here in the teeth pose. Honestly, I had no idea what this guy's about, so I'm not going to worry about him. Some other people kind of brought up this thing right here. Um, there is supposed to be an in-raid trader on this map. Whether there's going to be like a little safe room, safe house, something like that, uh, we don't know that yet. But uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. If there is an in-raid trader, I can guarantee you there's going to be people camping it. And it's going to be a lot worse than extract camping. So it'll be interesting to see how this is all implemented and how, um, you know, maybe you have to bring currency in-raid to then go to the trader and then extract from raid to get anything it's going to be super interesting system and i think it's going to add a super cool dynamic to the game uh you can get above this tunnel what it looks like anyway right over here i mean there is some sort of barricade right here so you know obviously there's elements there that are meant to be there it looks like you can just hop right up this ridge right here and you can post up up here uh both sides so that might be an issue and something you have to watch out for i'm noticing some primo bushes right here so 
you know, just pointing it out. Might have a couple loot spawns, you know, uh, right around in here. You can loot the trunks of these cars and um, maybe like a food spawn or two right here, something like that. Yeah, I got a crate right here. Something might spawn on that, but I don't see any lootable containers. Uh, not much else I can really give you on the analysis side of things. Uh, a lot of people, like I said, point out the guy and point out this little door here in the tunnel. It's going to be interesting if you go the whole way back in the tunnel, if the tunnel is going to be a safe area. You know, I don't know. We don't know any of these things yet, but speculation is always fun. So we have these little uh, shacks, which are out on the water. You're going to see another image of this, but it kind of threw me off at first because I didn't know, is this like a shack or is this literally like some sort of luxury high-end fucking boat where you just live in it? Uh, they are going to be shacks out on the water from what I can tell from the final image we'll be taking a look at here today. But um, very cool stuff, man. I don't know what kind of loot's going to be in these things. Presumably just ground loot, probably a couple treasure spawns, maybe some food spawns here on this little mini table. Um, I don't see a duffel bag on this couch yet, but I'm kind of assuming one is going to be plopped right there. And, um, you know, probably a couple other little loose loot spawns in here because if you're going out on the water, which is probably not going to be great cover to begin with just to go to there, and there's windows and glass doors and this shit everywhere else, I'm assuming they've got to put some sort of valuable treasure spawn out here to make it worth your time. Just my opinion, probably going to be for a task as well. So that is it for those images. We have two left. So here is a phenomenal image. Um, this is where I said that right here is where I think we were standing, like right up here, and that we were looking out onto the hill over here that this is part of a giant fucking lodge. And this is going to be sick, man. Uh, kind of giving me resort vibes, but at the same time, it's not as big. It looks really run down, and it kind of gives me like the interchange mall vibe. So there's a lot of elements coming together here. That I love personally. I think this is super cool. And this map at night is going to be fucking sick. Because this image alone is giving me that horror vibe. And a lot of people say Tarkov's a horror game. So it's just going to add the extra adrenaline. And it's going to be very cool. Uh, we got Terra Group here as always. Looks like we have a, a decent amount of stuff down here. I don't know if this is like Terra Corp related or Terra Group. Excuse me. Uh, but we got some weapon crate spawns here. We got a whole bunch of shit man. I mean this is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun little PvP area for sure. And, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how big the map really is and how many PMCs can get thrown in this map. Because if this is the centralized point of the map, it's definitely going to have the shoreline vibe. But if it's not the centralized point and the lighthouse is the centralized point, which is kind of doubtful because obviously it's out in the water and you'll see that in the next image. But, um, you know, I, I, I just don't know how the map's going to play out yet. I don't know if it's going to be rushing the lodge is what I'm calling this right now rushing lodge 24 7 all the time just like rushing resort on shoreline it's gonna be interesting to see the loot in there I i'm kind of hoping it's more of like a pvp map because you know factory is kind of our pvp central hub right now and getting a bit of a more open map that's not you know gonna be as attractive as customs because i would assume uh, a lot of you probably see customs as like a pvp style map as well that's still one of the more casual maps so seeing more of that push towards lighthouse away from customs is gonna be good for newer players entering the game um, so, you know, this image, a lot of stuff to decipher here, but I'm going to let you guys just take it in, you know, I'm not going to try and decipher every single thing in this image, but I do like it, and I think it's very cool. Uh, moving on to the final image here, the lighthouse. You can see it out there, man, and this is where, if this is explorable, if this whole stretch of land out here is explorable, this is where you truly realize how big this fucking map is. Because you don't see the lodge. You see the little houses out in the water. Which we just saw three images ago. Two images ago. But um, you could see like there's some sort of like structure here. Looks like, you know, I can't tell if this is the lodge though. I, that's the problem. If you guys would zoom in. Maybe I can zoom in on the video. Let me move my mouse. Right under the lighthouse. Like, is that the lodge? That's what I need to know. That's what everybody's going to need to know. Because, you know, where... Are we going to be spawning? Where are the extracts going to be? There's a lot of, you know, questions here. And um, if that is the lodge out there, and there's a bunch of different buildings, so I'm assuming that's going to be all playable area. And if this is playable as well, this is going to be a huge map, man. It's going to be a huge fucking map. And I could not be more excited because it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. But I'm also hoping there's not just one main land bridge to where everybody can camp it. Um, because, well, that might be good as well, because a lot of people like the choke point in customs before it got expanded, uh, before the most recent expansion. So two expansions ago, there's a huge choke point by the train bridge, and a lot of people like that. So maybe we have that here again. 
Uh, we will just have to see. But these are all the images currently available for us. And um, I think it's very cool, man. I'm just really excited to see uh, what we have in store. And honestly, I just could not be more excited. So let me know how you guys are feeling down in the comments down below. If I missed anything important that you think is super important, needs to go in the comment section. Make sure you drop that comment so other players can see it. As always, drop that like. Subscribe for new sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm out.